G'day, welcome to this series of videos looking at indices and primes. In this particular series, what we're going to have a look at first off today is indices. Then we're going to have a look at prime numbers and composite numbers. We're going to then move on to squares and square roots and then cubes and cube roots. In this particular lesson, what we're going to have a look at is index notation. So indices are very useful in everyday life because what they do is they allow us to write very big numbers and very small numbers a whole lot more simply. And these come up, say you are looking at uh, large distances or even very, very small distances. So the distance from here to a very far away star or even how big a bacteria or something was. Because these numbers get very big and very small, we can look at significant numbers by using index notation. And what they then allows us to do is it makes the calculations a whole lot easier. So first off, indices. So indices are also called exponents, orders, or powers. And pretty much what they are is they are repeated multiplication. They're a way of writing repeated multiplication. So let me give you an example of this. Say we had two times two times two. The way that we could write this in index form is as follows. We could write two to the power of three. So what have we got here? We have two particular parts here. The two, which has been multiplied by itself, this is called the base. We have this part up here, which is how many times two has been multiplied by itself. And this is either called the index or the exponent or the power, something like this, okay? So you've got two parts here, and that's fairly simple, right? So what about we have a look at one more example of this? What about we have five times five times five times five times five times five? So this is equal to, well, what's the base here? The base, which is the number which has been multiplied by itself. So the base, as you can see here, is five. So we have five. Now we look at how many fives have been multiplied here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is five to the power of six. So it's pretty simple, right? Let's have a look at a couple of further examples. Okay, a bit harder now. Say we were to have three to the power of four and we were to multiply this by three to the power of three. What would this be equal to? So we could work this out. Three to the power of four here is equal to three times three times three times three. And we're multiplying this by three to the power of three. So this is three times three times three. And as you see here, we're multiplying these two sets of numbers. So what does this leave us with? Well, pretty simply, what base have we got? We have a base here of three. How many times is it being multiplied by itself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is three to the power of seven. So you might look at a bit of a shortcut here and say, hey, what we did here is we could just go through and add these two numbers together. So this is three, and this is four plus three. What about this? Say we were in brackets to have this, we were gonna go four squared to the power of three. And what is this equal to? So what we could do is we could go through and we we're working this out, and we could say, okay, what we have here is four squared. Four squared is four times four, four multiply by itself twice. And we're doing this three times. So we have four times four, we have four times four, and we have four times four. Okay, because this whole part here has been raised to this power. And we're multiplying these guys. So what's our answer here? This is equal to, well, our base is four, and we're multiplying it by itself one, two, three, four, five, six times. Okay, one last example. What about this? What about we go three times four squared and see what this is equal to? So if we were to do this, what you can see is you can say, okay, what we have here is we have three times four and we're multiplying this by three times four. So if we were to do this, what do we end up with? Well, we end up with three times four times three times four. Now, how can we write this a lot more simply? Well, we have this number here, which is a base three. So we have two of those. So it's three multiplied by itself two times. To this, we're multiplying four base, which has also got two lots here, so four squared. So another way of writing three times four in brackets squared is three squared times four squared. Anyway, hopefully that's some help of you. 
and we'll get on very soon to the next idea, which is going to be having a look at prime numbers. All right, see ya.